Oh my gosh, I have not been in the Unova region for a long, long time. Hey guys, it's me, a little Sir Fetched, and welcome to the Pokemon Black Randomized Farfetched Run. And this series has upgraded a ton. So, in the last series, I mean, in the first series, we just started off normal having randomized Pokemon, blah, 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 in Platinum. Uh, the second series, we randomized the abilities. Pretty self-explanatory. Made it a little bit difficult. We also forgot to randomize the TMs, but that might have been less difficult, actually. But, yeah. The third series, we didn't do that much. We just randomized the trainer names and classes. And, yeah, basically, this series, we were tacking on those two things that we changed in the last two series and adding on two more things. One thing to make the game easier, and one thing to make the game harder. So, see if she sends out a shiny. Nope, she didn't send out a shiny. I know she can do that. So, the two things that we did. First, the hard part is that by the Elite Four, when we get to the Elite Four, Oh, uh, I don't remember these guys' names, but obviously we're changing it. Can I be... Oh, dang it, I can't be Sir Fetch. Ugh, I hate this game. I hate this game already. I really do love the look of this game. We get to have, like, fully moving sprites for the first time in Pokemon in our series. Because we didn't finish the last time we did a... I think it was Pokemon White, Black 2... White... Two or Black 2 randomized starter run. Starter lock that I did, which is a series I never finished because I got a copyright claim. I got a copyright notice on the first episode because apparently I can't show the intro to Black and White. So yeah, that episode does not exist on my channel and basically the rest of the series I wish didn't, but I don't like privating any of my videos, so yeah. So this series... Before we continue, let me just mess with the volume a little bit. But yes, this series, the two things that we did are, I think, I don't know if it's true, but the Elite Four's first Pokemon is level 48, I believe. So I have it set in the randomizer to, once we, once the trainer's Pokemon hits level 48, every single Pokemon that they will, like, every single trainer Pokemon from level 48 and above will all be fully evolved. So, basically, we're not going to have any base Pokemon, like a Cleffa, in the Elite Four. And, yeah. The other thing I did was, apparently, I forgot this was a thing in black and white, are the Special Marts, which is basically in the Pokemon Centers. There's a Pokemart, and then they can sometimes have two people there. Well, in the special marts, I have it set to be randomized to where you can get random items through that, too. So that's the easier part. And then the hard part is the guaranteed fully evolved Pokemon once we get to the league. So yeah, let's begin. The first time in a long time for me, black and white. Fetch, I heard from Professor Juniper we can have a Pokemon? What's keeping Bianca? Hello, Bianca. Am I a little late again? S uh, sorry. Bianca, I've known for ten years that you have no sense of time, but seriously? Today's the day we get a Pokemon from Professor Juniper. The Professor J Juniper. I know. Sorry, Fetch. Sorry, Charon. So, where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Fetch's house, so Fetch gets to pick first. Naturally. Huh. Host privileges, I get the first Pokemon. Even though they're all the same Pokemon, as you'll see in a second. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay, Fetch, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to see meet the Pokemon right now. Well, before we do any of that, because I'm tired of the tech speed being so slow. Let's do that. Okay. I wonder what the Pokemon could be. I've brought three Pokemon, one for you, and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon, Professor Juniper. 
Oh man, I wonder what my starter choices could be. Could they be the normal type Pokemon Farfetch'd? The normal type Pokemon Farfetch'd. Or maybe even the normal type Pokemon Farfetch'd. You know what? Uh, I think this is grass. Oh, wait, no. I can literally see the, the silhouettes of the original Pokemon. So this is grass. Where's the water one? Because I want to fight Silent, I think is his name. The uh, grass one of the first three gym leaders. I want to fight Silent because I know him from the anime. So yeah, I want to fight him. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon. Sharon, that one's yours. Hey, how come you get to pick out my Pokemon? They're the same Pokemon, Sharon! Oh, never mind. I wanted this one from the start anyway. You would have gotten the same! I just love that. Because I set them all to the same Pokemon. They all get, We all get the same Pokemon. We all have a fair shot of winning. Everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca, even though we're still there's still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles inside a house. Oh, don't be a worry wart. These little ones are weak. Like you said, we have to let them battle so they'll get stronger. It's settled, Fetch. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. Oh, it's Joe! It's Joe! It's Schoolboy Joe. What's my move set here? I start out with a female Farfetch'd for once, not a male. I have a full move set too, well. Wow. Oh yeah. Eek, ouch, I won't let you get away with that. Oh man, I love the moving sprites. I don't know why, I just really like the moving sprites. Them standing still and doing nothing just really has bothered me about the first four games. So now we get to see them all animated and moving and happy. It's so adorable. And level 23. I don't even know what my ability is, but I know it's not true on because I wouldn't have been able to attack the second turn. So yeah, it's not true on, thankfully. And it's not slow start because it would have told me that too. So I just don't know what my typing is. If it's normalized, I'm going to be upset because that would literally make it so every one of my moves is normal type, which would suck. Wow! Fetch, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday, I can tell. No doubt. Uh, Bianca, would you take a look around? My house! W whoa what happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing! So little, but so strong. I'm so glad that I get to have a Pokemon. Uh, uh, sorry about your room, Fetch. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Fetch's Pokemon need to be fixed up too. Hey Sharon, how about you battle too? With all you know, I'm sure you can battle without turning the room into a disaster like I did. I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair if you two are the only ones who get to have fun battling. It's decided you'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. Let me see what you can do, my Pokemon. I mean, I, I am happy that the two abilities I was really worried about are not on my Pokemon. I was very worried about... Oh, it's Schoolboy Kim. I was very worried about Normalize, um, Truant, and Slow Start, but it looks like I don't have that. Let me see my ability, actually. Uh, Keen Eye. I don't think I randomized the abilities. I don't think I did that. Shoot. Uh, well then, I guess I've got Keen Eye. Which, you know, is fine. I'm actually fine with that. It's better than being stuck with, uh, what is it? I finally become a trainer. Everything starts from here. It's better than being start with, better than being forced to start with true runt or slow start. So I'm I'm perfectly fine with having the abilities not randomized, and my accuracy can't be lowered. So beat that. 
you lost without even attacking me, Sharon. Look at that. Fury attack. So, I've also decided by the end of this series, my goal for the Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald whenever I do Generation 3, the far-fetched run, my goal is to have basically everything I can get randomized, randomized. And that's like the evolutions, the Pokemon typings, and their movesets. Like, it's gonna be fun. I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Oh, I better come too! Why are you apologizing for my room? To my mother, it's not her room. I mean, granted, she owns the house, but still. I'm very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. Well, um, we can clean up. Cleaning up? No worries, I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor Juniper? Yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Didn't even argue with my mom. You didn't want to clean up. For shame. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh, wait, I've got to go home first. Thanks for having us over. Okay, do I get my running shoes from my mom? Does she give them to me, like, right now? My, my, fetch. Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cries clear down here. Hmm, that sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. I'll never not be healed. Your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going to don't, if you're going out, don't forget your cross transceiver. Aw, it's a, like a, that's, it's like a wristwatch. You're gonna thank the professor too, right? Better get going, honey. You know what? Fine. I didn't want to run anyway. I didn't want to run. Oh my gosh, look at all the Woobat! That's so adorable! This is my friend's house. There's Bianca's house. Hello, Bianca's father. No, no, a thousand times no! But I'm... I'm a good trainer who got a Pokemon and everything. I can totally go on an adventure. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Ah, oh, yes, the further you move away from people's faces, the more they don't look like they have faces. My favorite thing about black and white. And the fifth generation entirely. Also, the sprites are just so much better than Gen 4 sprites. Hello? Okay, let's go meet the professor. Took me a while to realize we were going inside. Hey, Juniper! Hi there! I've been waiting for you, young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Professor Juniper. We know your name. Oh, come on, Sharon. This is not a time to take things lightly. Today is the day to remember always. Today is the day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper. I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. That's so unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle, so maybe that's why. Shoot. I guess I'll give my Pokemon nickname, and since I fetch is the male far fetch name, I guess I gotta go with my second choice. Uh, oh gosh, this is gonna be difficult to type in. And there we go, and there we go. Uh-huh, I see. Are you okay with the nickname Antoinette? I didn't, I forgot that I had caps lock on. Antoinette is its name. That is such a great name. As for why I gave you, I gave all of you Pokemon. It's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex? I am astounded. Nice work, Sharon. You've already studied Pokemon intensely, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning, for everyone's sake. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter, 
so I want you three to visit many places and meet all the Pokemon in the Unova region. This is my request. Fetch, Sharon, Bianca, you'll go on an adventure to complete your Pokedex, will you not? Well, I, I'll, I'll try, but you'll be seeing a lot of Farfetch'd. Okay, I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer, exactly as I always wished. All of you, thanks. You have given me the best possible answer. Why am I 15 minutes into this episode and we haven't left the first town? Next, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me on Route 1, okay? Since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I'd like that. Of course. We can travel however we want while we complete the Pokedex. Okay, goodbye. Oh, surprise visit. Hey, Fetch, wait up! Oh, there you are. And what did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex? I can't believe it! Well, actually, I can. I knew how. I already knew she was gonna ask. That's why I bought you three. I bought you three of these town maps. Please take them with you. Ah, oh, yes, the item I'll never use, even though I barely know the Unova region. Here you are, Sharon. I'll take good care of it. And one for you too, Bianca. Th thank you so much. As for your room, Fetch, or what's left of it, no need to, for any of you to worry. I'll take care of setting up. Okay, Fetch? Ah, uh, Pokemon. They are so cute, but they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They are really something. Yeah, just a bedroom. It's not like when Eveltal dies, it murders everything in a ten-mile radius. Or, you know, Drifloon just abducts kids. Or Macargo is apparently hotter than the sun. You know, Pokemon are just pretty crazy. With Pokemon like that on your side, they'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. I hope that in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you like in the Unova region and become a wonderful adults. Have a great trip. I guess we're technically classified as adults, even though we're 10 years old. We're actually 11, I think. If I were, if I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Shall we head to Route One? The professor's waiting. Let's go, let's go! Fetch, hurry and come too, okay? Wow, Sharon just went so much faster than Bianca. Why do you guys get to run? Oh my gosh, Bianca's glitching out. Fetch, it's this way! Bianca says if we're starting a journey together, she wants us all to take our first step at the same time. Hey, Fetch! Let's all take our first step on Route 1 together. Okay, here we go. One, two... We did it. The virtual thing on the top of the screen tells us we're in route when we took a step together. Oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. I want to get my Pokeballs and see if there's a far-fetched... Professor Juniper, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The Pokedex's pages update automatically whenever you meet a Pokemon. Moreover, it's set up so that you obtain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. It's a Patrat! Or a Pat Rat! Gotta use a move first. What if that... What if that would've killed? I wonder if that could even get a crit or something like that. Because I know there's like the fun thing when you randomize the catching tutorial from Fire Red and Leaf Green that you can randomize it to a Pokemon that's like super effective over the enemy Pokemon and it just kills them. Like I love doing that in the catching tutorials when they like, they get too, like they're super effective against the Pokemon and they just kill them. Just on accident. Just like, oh no, I guess I won't teach you how to catch a Pokemon. Did you see that, just now? Here's how it goes. Step by step. First, reduce the Pokemon's HP. Pokemon that still have all of their energy are difficult to catch. If you can, use your Pokemon's moves to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep or paralyze it. And to wrap this up in the best way, I have a gift for you. Some Pokeballs! Isn't this the game where they stop putting them in a separate bag and they're all in the items pocket? 
Yeah. Thanks, black and white. Pokeballs are used for catching Pokemon and for carrying the Pokemon you catch. I'm going on ahead. I'll be waiting for you in Accumula Town. She forgot to say that Pokemon jump out at you in the tall grass. I'm heading to Accumula Town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. Wait a minute. Hey, listen. Fetch, Sharon. I thought I had something fun. But we need to get along. I'd imagine the professor's waiting too. Would you just listen a sec? Seriously? Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from Professor Juniper, is the winner. Huh, actually that sounds interesting. We filled the Pokedex pages. It will fill up the Pokedex pages, so I'm sure that it will... I'm sure it will please the professor too. Okay then, until we reach Accumula Town, I'll take care of healing your Pokemon at your house. Me and Tepig will do the best for sure, even though he's a far-fetched. It's not a Tepig, you can't trick me. Do I just not get the running shoes? at all in this game. Am I faster? I'm faster. So I know Farfetch can get like a greater move pull in this game. So I'm, I'm happy about that. I hope we can get some pretty cool moves and stand even more of a chance against these Pokemon that we're fighting. I just want to see what Pokemon are here, and also, why? Where's my running shoes? Why can't I run? Where's the shoes that help me run? I'm gonna go back to my mom, and ask for some shoes, and if she doesn't give me shoes, I'm going to be really upset, because I really want some shoes. I like how my house is the center of town, because I am the main guy. Phew, I'm taking a little break from cleaning up. You and your Pokemon should take a break, too. Good trainers don't push their Pokemon too hard. Can I have some shoes? She didn't give me shoes. And now I'm upset. I'm upset. Let's go and find more Pokemon, I guess. We'll never get the shoes. No, I didn't make it. Why? Where's the other, like, four or five Pokemon that are supposed to spawn? I'm just getting Crobat and Cacnea. Hello, sir. You got anything for me? Wild Pokemon are hiding in the tall grass. What does that mean for you? It means when you want to battle or capture wild Pokemon, you should go walk in the tall grass. Thanks. So helpful. I cannot believe how helpful you were in that entire statement. I think we're only going to see Crobat and Cacnea. I don't know. I just... I don't know. Hmm. English. I don't know why, I just have this sudden feeling that we're not seeing any other Pokemon. Okay, I'm kidding, there's a Lillipop. Our first instance of seeing a black and white Pokemon in the wild, and not from Professor Juniper or the box silhouette. Followed by a Nidoran. The male version, obviously, because the female version is not purple. It's more of a blue color. How about it, Fetch? Do you want to compare which one of us has the most Pokemon with them? I have one. What, what, what? You only have Oshawott? If you don't catch any Pokemon, won't Oshawott get lonely? Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you found and how many you've caught. I'm off to Accumulate Town. The professor is waiting. She's calling us. Hello, how is everyone doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Oh, professor! Right now I'm in front of Accumulate Town's Pokemon Center. 
I'd like to show you around, so hurry on over, everyone. Okay, the Pokemon Center, right! Okay, see ya. Well, I'm going on ahead. And here we are in Accumula Town. Oh, that's the Furret Walk music. That's the music you get when you look at the Furret Walk videos on YouTube. You gonna give me any items? Kid. What about you, sir? Or ma'am. Oh, okay, thanks for telling me I can buy Pokeballs. Hmm. Are you gonna give me any items? Because I really want some items. I really want to make sure that I did randomize the items, because I had to randomize these ROMs twice, because for some reason I didn't save the first time. So, I don't know. I think this guy, actually, I can... I think in one of the games, you're allowed to, like, trade your Pokeballs for, like, a different Pokeball down here. But it's not let me do that. Hello? Ah, oh, fish, there you are. Traveling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. Please follow me. I'd like to show you the most important place for a trainer to know. There's two shops here! I can show off the new randomized items! This is a Pokemon Center. Don't you feel better as soon as you step through the door? Okay, let's start your tour. Oh yeah, this is the first generation in which Pokemon Centers and Pokemarts are in the same building. That's pretty cool. Ooh, wait for me! A Pokemon Center is a truly incredible place. Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed, and what's more, it's absolutely free! A Pokemon Center is a trainer's best friend. Here, fetch, give it a try. What? Antoinette does not need to be healed. She's powerful already. Thanks, Nurse Joy. Okay, now that your Pokemon have rested, I'll show you how to use the PC at the Pokemon Center. This is the PC. It's free for any trainer to use. You can store Pokemon in your PC boxes or select Pokemon stored in your PC boxes and take along with you. In addition, if you catch a new Pokemon while you have six Pokemon traveling with you, the Pokemon you just caught is sent automatically to the PC network. That was fixed in Gen 7 because Game Freak realized people don't like that. And they'd rather get to choose if the Pokemon stays with them or not. Which, that's amazing that they now, since Gen 7, they let you choose. And that's amazing. But yeah, basically from Gen 1 to 6, it was basically automatically they just be sent to the Pokemon, to the PC, and it was terrible. Surprising, is it? Amazing. Even. Here's something else that's cool. If you select my PC, I'll evaluate the progress you've made on your Pokedex. Professor, it says someone's PC on the screen. Who is someone? Very good, Bianca. That's a great observation. Good question, and I'd like to say more, but for now, just ignore that and go ahead and use the PC. Someone is the person who made the Pokemon storage system. I guess we're going to figure out who that person is later in the story. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. Okay, let's move on. Now this is the Pokemart. This is the place to buy useful items and sell the ones you don't need anymore. That gentleman over there will help you with a smile. So let's wrap this up. I've given you the basics of being a trainer. I'm going to head back to Nuemba Town. Nuvama Town. One final thing. When you get to Striaton City... Go and meet an inventor named Fennel. He's, she's a friend of mine from long ago, and I'm sure she'll help you on your way. Best of luck, I hope that your journeys prove to be the adventure of a lifetime. Ooh, what should I buy? Potions and Pokeballs are definitely important. Mmm, thinking. Okay, let's see if this worked. Ooh, look at the stuff we can buy! I can buy a metal coat! Ooh, a focus sash. I can buy heart scales. You know? Yeah, it might be cool to have a metal coat, but I'm gonna save, like, that item. Like, cause I think I can probably learn still tight moves still. But, yeah. 
I'm gonna save that just in case. Let's buy ten potions. And let's get an extra five Pokeballs. And we'll get through all the end stuff. The end mission. So yeah, it looks like it randomized perfectly, so I could have randomized items. Sounds like someone's going at something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a little look see. Oh no, what's gonna be going on in the plaza? Fetch, come here a second. <gasps> uh oh. My name is Getsis. Oh no. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Huh? What? I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? No way! Yikes! I don't know! Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They can murder everyone if they wanted to. They could destroy bedrooms. Ugh. They are living beings from who we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? That's right. We must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Oh, let's just put him in the middle so no one can attack him. What an amazing strategy, except for he could get attacked that way. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. Everything went dark. Hello, Ann. Your Pokemon. Just now it was saying. Slow down, you talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is In. My name is Sharon, and this is Fetch. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So you're going to confine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that, then. I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, fetch, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Ooh, our first battle with... Schoolboy N. It didn't change his name. But it changed his trainer class. So I guess... Oh, dang it. What am I supposed to do here? It was Kangaskhan that ruined our last series. Now I have to fight Kangaskhan again? More, let me hear the voice of your Pokemon. <sighs> this is a losing battle. I'm just attacking for the fun of it at this point. And goodbye. I lived, but at what cost? Well, that's a bye-bye. Good thing I have no Pokemon. I don't have any Pokemon. Okay, what would have potions done? Like, cool, I could have gotten potions. That would have done absolutely nothing. 
No, 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 no. I have to watch that all over again? No. I'm not reading this all again. That is so dumb. It's trying to make me read. You're not gonna get me to read. In fact, this is the perfect time to drink my Pepsi. Trying to get me to read again. Okay, fine. We'll give the Kangaskhan battle an actual chance. It's not like I'm gonna win, though. Probably have to train up my Pokemon to, like, five levels higher. Hi, and how are you doing? Even though I literally just talked to you, like, two minutes ago. We had a battle and everything. I like your theme, though. It's pretty cool. So if I can't beat Kangaskhan this attempt, which I highly doubt I'm going to do that, seeing as it's using Fake Out on the first turn, Oh man. Yeah, there's. I'm not beating this Kangaskhan, I'm just saying. What if I try Fury Attack? Ooh. I have to. Oh, come on, I'm gonna lose here. Live. Oh, I lost. Well, it's not a fitting in to episode one. We lost. Well, that sucks. Next time we'll actually progress to the game and I'll hopefully have some running shoes to call my own. Uh, that's it for episode one. I'm actually pretty happy with this first episode. Next time, hopefully, I will be high enough level to defeat that Kangaskhan. But if not, then I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.